The situation of movies at the theaters only works in extremes in the current market. Either the movies are going to be knockout films that rake in massive footfalls and numbers or they just turn out to be straight up disasters. The prospect of films especially not led by quote unquote stars find it very tough to soar post the pandemic to even be declared average grossers. A time where movies like Stree and Ayushman Khurana led films did business of over 200 crore seems like a distant dream and as Ayushman himself said, the catalyst to motivate audiences to step into theaters has become to present them something great and not something that is merely termed as good or possible. The situation is not only grim for Hindi cinema, but the mid-budget films across languages are also struggling as the audiences have become far more picky about what films they will end up watching on the big screen. Through this video, I wanted to cover some of the films that barely generated any hype and how the drastic failures of these films is indicative of the times we live in, where every month will only have a few hits and majority of the lineup will consist of films that will simply be rejected or not even open. So here is Trident Refuse Productions with the 10 biggest Indian movie disasters of 2023. Kutte It was exciting to see what Vishal Bharadwaj's son Asman would be capable of from the director's chair. What gave the vibe like Vishal Bharadwaj's own Kamine, Kutte had glimpses of the same wacky, action-packed gore and comedy but suffered from having a lack of conviction when it came to its writing and especially action set pieces. The ensemble cast, especially the likes of Tabu and Nasruddin Shah, were not enough to motivate audiences to theatres and within a few days, the movie vanished in thin air. A Hindi film with an estimated budget of close to 35 crores could only rake a lifetime business of over 4 crores. Absolutely abysmal numbers, also making it clear that what was once the figure of opening numbers has become the fate of its overall collections. Michael, a Telugu and Tamil movie that was aimed at being a highly stylized action spectacle ended up being a poor man's KGF. This Indian film followed suit of creative decisions being taken not to tell a unique story, but to ape the qualities of what was already successful, one of the main reasons for a film's downfall, not having its own identity. Set in the 80s of crime and violence, the movie turned out to be the most generic and forgettable gangster film, whose novelty is slowly dying. While the number of the budget of the film vary within the range of 20 to 30 crores, this project that boasted of so many well-known faces amassed a mere 10 crores in its lifetime business. Almost PR with DJ Mohabbat If I have ever seen a lack of relevancy of a creator that has genuinely broken my heart, it is of Anurag Kashyap. A creator whose work I absolutely enjoyed in theatres, everything from Dev D, No Smoking, Gulal to the epic Gangs of Vasipur. Kashyap laid a solid foundation with his ventures from the mid-2000s to the early 2010s, but lately his films barely spark up a discussion among even hardcore film buffs. His venture, Almost Pyar with DJ Mohabbat, a convoluted attempt at a young love story that takes several dark turns, vanished like flash from theatres. Made on a budget of an estimated 15 crores, the movie raked in a shocking box office revenue of close to 25 lakhs, numbers unheard of when it comes to the smallest films even pre the pandemic. I am hopeful for Kennedy to get the OG Kasha back. Neela Villicham other than Malikapuram, Romancham and 2018, Malayalam cinema has also struggled in 2023 to motivate audiences in theatres. A film that intrigued me a lot, especially when I saw its trailer, was the Malayalam film title Neela Villicham, a horror thriller boasting of a stellar ensemble cast and a retelling of a short story that was made into a classic 1964 Malayalam film. Despite having average to favourable reviews, the reason why so many feel the movie terribly failed is because it didn't soar to become an exceptional retelling of a classic story having moments but not soaring to become truly memorable, having great ideas with respect to the interaction between the living and dead but not a cohesive knockout. The movie made on a budget of close to 12 crores raked in a lifetime collection of close to 2.5 crores, making it an outright failure. Selfie Akshay Kumar has had a very horrid time at cinemas after Surya Vanshi, from being one of the most dependable stars to consistent failures. One equates this to the saturation of his appearances across platforms. But when one looks at Akshay Kumar films, one at least has a surety that it will open to respectable numbers. A movie backed by Dharma Productions and essentially being a two-star-led film, Selfie would have at least amassed a good total. But the people just did not expect the colossal disaster that was coming their way. The movie just did not interest audiences. No matter what the sincerity of the makers. Made on a budget of close to 110 crores, the movie amassed a lifetime collection of a mere 23 crores, making it one of the biggest disasters from Hindi cinema. I hope Akshay's next release in theatres is Bade Mia Chote Mia, because he really needs to return with a bang. Christopher 
When I saw the visuals and the star cast of Christopher, I really thought it would have been a fun and thrilling action entertainer, a story of a cop, an encounter specialist who takes matters into his own hands to destroy evil in society. The case of extrajudicial killings barely packed the punch, making even Mammootty come across as if he was sleepwalking through the role. The movie directed by B. Uni Krishnan barely developed hype, even within the state of Kerala, making people wonder why Mammootty even was interested in doing it in the first place. The movie made on a budget of 20 crores raked in 10 crores and won hope for Mammootty to not do such mindless commercial ventures in the future. Bheed A movie based on the pandemic was already being boycotted by trade experts and insiders for its portrayal of the atrocities that were experienced by the labour class and who essentially became homeless as they walked out of cities hoping and praying that the system supports them in any way. The movie, while boasting of a stellar cast, great performances and a commentary on our own class system, failed to gain any momentum at the box office. The movie, which is presumably made on a budget of close to 30 crores, acquired a shocking lifetime collection of close to 2 crores, making it one of the biggest disasters of 2023. Shakuntala. I went in thinking that a rendition of an old epic would be marvellous to see on the big screen, and while the trailer promised very little with respect to its lacklustre special effects and TV serial-like emotions, I still went in with the hope that at least the screenplay would hold together. While being a huge admirer of Samantha, her tenacity and her work, I realised that even the most die-hard Samantha fans will find it tough to sit through the slog of a film. The movie is so tiresome, banal and outdated in its storytelling that it really tests your patience, making you you think if Gunashekar is just past his prime, a creator who was once killing it in the mid-2000s. The movie made on a budget of an estimated 65-70 to 70 crores raked in a box office revenue of close to 7 crores, terming it one of the biggest failures this year from Telugu cinema. Alone If Mohanlal's stint with films was not already bad, with mindless commercial films that border on being embarrassing, one's hopes are really riding on his collaboration with Lee Jojo's Pelissary to hit it out of the park, but his movie alone that released this year was nothing short of exhausting. An attempt to do a film set during the lockdown with every frame only showcasing Mohanlal, the movie presented the actor getting to the bottom of several suspicious activities that take place in his flat. It's a mediocre, stretched-out thriller that cannot be lauded even on a performance merit and made on a budget of 2.5 crores, the film with even the presence of a star like Mohan Lal could only generate a box office revenue of 98 lakhs. I still consider it better than Monster. <laughs> Agent A film that went through several delays and finally released recently with abysmal reviews was the Akhil Akhilini starer Agent. Going by the catchphrase, Sale nahi, wild sale bol. The movie, its premise, its execution, its placement of songs, its antagonist, its attempt to capitalize on Mamuti's star presence, nothing helped its cause. The movie made on a budget of close to 70 to 80 crores has only raked in a revenue of close to 10 crores in its first week. And this is a film that was aimed at showcasing Akhil on the national map as a pan-Indian star. You knew a project is doomed when the producer themselves publicly take blame for the movie's failings and also mention that the script was not even finalised as they started shooting. Such a bizarre series of events, Akhil is still thinking of making an impact as a star in Telugu cinema. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below why you think movies are failing so badly and in such large numbers now in the current market. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.